Pretty Boy Floyd, the so-called Robin Hood of the Cooks and Hills. In the heartland of America, amid the dust storms and economic despair of the Great Depression, a young and audacious figure emerged from the shadows, Charles Arthur Floyd. Floyd, born in Aikens, Oklahoma, would become one of the most infamous outlaws of his time. desperation and injustice of the era provided fertile ground for the rise of criminals like him. Floyd's journey began in the humble surroundings of rural Oklahoma. Raised in poverty, Floyd found himself drawn to a life of crime from an early age. Petty thefts and brushes with the law marked his youth setting the stage for a criminal career that would both captivate and terrify the American public. Despite his illicit activities, Floyd's charisma and daring set him apart, earning him a reputation that would transcend his criminal deeds and eventually getting known as Pretty Boy Floyd. As the Great Depression tightened its grip on the Midwest, Pretty Boy Floyd's criminal exploits escalated. The young outlaw, with a penchant for audacity and strategic planning, embarked on a spree of daring bank robberies that sent shockwaves through the heartland. From Ohio to Kansas, Floyd left a trail of stolen fortunes earning him not only infamy but also a growing legend as a modern-day Robin Hood. The banks, struggling to survive the economic turmoil, became targets for Floyd's brazen heists. His methods were characterized by meticulous planning, lightning-fast getaways, and a touch of showmanship that endeared him to the public. As the list of successfully executed robberies grew, so did Floyd's reputation as a charismatic and elusive outlaw who seemed to dance on the edge of both law and folklore. His criminal exploits gained widespread press coverage in the 1930s. The media, hungry for sensational stories in a time of widespread hardship, seized upon Pretty Boy Floyd's exploits. Newspapers and radio broadcasts turned him into a larger-than-life figure, transforming him from a criminal into a folk hero. The public, struggling under the weight of economic despair, found solace and inspiration in Floyd's audacious robberies, often depicted as a form of righteous rebellion against the system that had failed them. He was often protected by locals of Oklahoma who referred to him as Robin Hood of the Cooks and Hills. As the headlines blurred with tales of Floyd's escapades, a new cultural phenomenon emerged. Ballads and stories about Pretty Boy spread like wildfire, painting him as a modern-day outlaw with a heart for the downtrodden. The dichotomy of Floyd's criminal actions and his perceived benevolence toward the suffering masses added layers to the legend turning him into a complex figure who defied easy categorization. With each successful heist, the pressure on law enforcement intensified. The Bureau of Investigation, BOI, 
later renamed to FBI, took up the challenge of capturing Pretty Boy Floyd, launching a relentless pursuit that spanned state lines. The conflict escalated into violent shootouts, transforming Floyd from a media sensation into a symbol of defiance against an increasingly oppressive government. Local law enforcement agencies found themselves outmatched by Floyd's cunning and resourcefulness, adding to the mystique surrounding the outlaw. Communities became both fascinated and terrified by the specter of Pretty Boy, who seemed to embody the struggles and aspirations of a nation on the brink. As Pretty Boy Floyd continued his brazen crime spree, the pressure on law enforcement to capture him reached unprecedented levels. The escalating violence and the clashes between Floyd and the authorities intensified the urgency of his capture. Floyd's daring escapades and narrow escapes only fueled the determination of the law enforcement agencies to bring him to justice. Shootouts became more frequent and more intense, with both sides escalating their tactics in a high-stakes game that played out across the Midwest. The toll on communities caught in the crossfire heightened the stakes of capturing Pretty Boy Floyd, who had become a symbol of resistance against a system perceived as corrupt and oppressive. relentless pursuit of Pretty Boy Floyd took an unexpected turn as whispers of betrayal circulated within his criminal network. Former associates, motivated by self-preservation or promises of leniency, began to cooperate with law enforcement. The loyalty that once bound Floyd to his criminal comrades now unraveled exposing the vulnerabilities in his network. The betrayal played a crucial role in narrowing the gap between Floyd and the authorities. Information provided by those once considered allies became instrumental in closing in on the elusive outlaw. The moral quandaries faced by those who turned against Floyd added a layer of complexity to the unfolding drama, revealing the human cost of a life of crime. As witnesses testified and evidence was presented, the myth of pretty boy Floyd collided with the reality of his criminal actions leaving the nation to grapple with the complexities of a figure who had both defied and embraced the prevailing societal norms. Despite his capture and subsequent imprisonment, Pretty Boy Floyd's legacy endured. His image continued to captivate the public imagination, becoming a symbol of rebellion against a system that had failed the common man. Folklore and ballads immortalized his exploits, turning him into a mythical figure whose legacy transcended the boundaries of fact and fiction. The impact of Pretty Boy Floyd on American culture persisted long after his arrest. His life and crimes sparked conversations about justice, inequality, in the blurred lines between hero and villain. The echoes of his actions resonated in the collective memory of a nation struggling to emerge from the depths of the Great Depression. On July 23, 1934, the BOI named Floyd public enemy number one. October 22nd, 
1934, in an East Liverpool, Ohio cornfield, Melvin Purvis, accompanied by local police and BOI agents, confronted and shot Floyd. There was, however, conflicting reports regarding the identity of the shooter and the specifics of Floyd's demise. Following embalming, Floyd's body briefly lay at the Sturgis Funeral Home in East Liverpool, Ohio, before its transfer to Oklahoma. Publicly exhibited in Salisaw, Oklahoma, his funeral drew a crowd estimated between 20,000 to 40,000 attendees, marking it as Oklahoma's most significant funeral to date. Floyd found his final resting place in Aikens, Oklahoma. The legacy of Pretty Boy Floyd serves as a reflection of a bygone era. The outlaws of the Great Depression, including Floyd, left an indelible mark on American history, challenging societal norms and capturing the public's imagination in a way that few figures have.